Warner Brothers has given new release dates for some of its upcoming DC movies. I'll discuss that and more next. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley and this is Ashley Talks Movies. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, Disney reshuffled its film schedule because of the coronavirus pandemic. And when they did that, they ended up giving a lot of new release dates to some of its upcoming Marvel movies, with most notably Black Widow moving to November, to the fall. So now the big headline is that Warner Brothers has reshuffled its film slate and now a couple of the upcoming DC movies have new release dates. So I'm going to talk about which movies got new release dates and also kind of give a brief overview of the current DC slate as it is now with some of these new dates. The DC movies that got new release dates are The Batman, uh, the Flash and Shazam 2. Before I dive into each of those, I'm just going to kind of go through the slate as it is now um, based on the changes. So I'll start with Wonder Woman 1984. Now, Wonder Woman hasn't been moved again, not yet at least. Um, it's still scheduled to come out August 14th. Now, that could change um, because movie theaters are not open yet and the movie theater chains haven't given any official word on a timeline for reopening. Many of them have said when they would like to reopen, which is sometime this summer, but nothing official has been announced, right? So Wonder Woman could be moved again, depending on when the theaters open, and that could cause another shift in the schedule. But as of right now, Wonder Woman is set to come out August. 14. So the next DC movie that will be coming out after Wonder Woman, a year from when Wonder Woman is supposed to be released, will be The Suicide Squad. Now, thankfully, the movie doesn't seem like it's going to be delayed. Um, it's still keeping its uh, August 6th, I think, 2021 release date. That's because the movie um, wrapped filming right before uh, all the studios start to have to close production and, and close film sets and things like that because of the coronavirus pandemic. So the movie finished filming, according to director James Gunn, um, before the shutdowns. So if everything goes according to plan, with editing and things like that, the movie will still come out in August, August 6, 2021. So that brings us to the first movie, that uh, gets a new release date with today's announcements, and that's uh, Matt Reeves' The Batman. So the movie starred Robert Pattinson uh, was uh, set to come out June 25th, 2021, is now been moved to October 1st, 2021. And honestly, I feel like this is probably a good move for this movie. I don't really know what the storyline is going to be for this particular uh, Batman, but uh, just given the casting and also um, some of the early pictures that have come from the set, the tone of it seems like it would fit better with a with a fall release. That maybe that's just me. Um, not to say that it couldn't come out in June, like it could be a uh, like a summer movie. But typically, I think if it's going to be a big summer movie, you know, they usually have it come out in like May or early June. With this coming out in fall, I feel like, I don't know, it just feels like a better fit for this movie. So, I, you know, hopefully they don't change it again, because um, I think, you know, October 1st is, is a good date for the Batman. With the Batman moving to October 1st, it puts it closer to another DC movie, and that is Black Adam, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That movie is supposed to come out uh, December 22nd, 2021. Now, it still has a, a couple of months uh, gap between them, you know, roughly two months. Um, so, you know, maybe Warner Bros. doesn't really care about that because, you know, you kind of want to space out your movies. Um, but, uh, you know, Black Adam, I think is, is a, that's a good release time for it as well, December. I don't, I can't think off the top of my head of any other movies that are set to come out in December uh, around that time, 2021. Um, but if there's no major releases, then that's a really good date 
uh, for, for Black Adam. The second DC movie to get a new release date uh, is The Flash. Now, The Flash has had quite a storied history um, with, you know, multiple directors leaving the project, um, with, you know, it de being delayed in actually starting production and things like that. But, uh, yeah, they've given it a new release date. And it actually has moved up instead of being pushed back which I think is interesting. So um, it was supposed to come out uh, July 1st, 2022, and it's now moving up to June 3rd, 2022. Um, by all accounts, um, Ezra Miller is still cast as The Flash. Um, I don't know if some of you are aware of the incident that happened with him. I think it was a week or so ago. Um, it, was, it was a video involving him and, and a woman, and he was like, choking her. and. Um, Anyway, so people have called for him to be fired. Uh, some people have said he shouldn't be fired because it looked like he was just playing around. But either way, um, no, no decision I think has been made, at least not publicly, about what to do about Ezra Miller. Whether or not gonna, whether or not uh, Warner Brothers is going to recast the role of Flash, um, who knows? But anyway, so Flash has moved up. So the last movie to get a new release date with this whole Warner Brothers reshuffling is Shazam 2. It was originally set to come out uh, April 1st, uh, 2022. And it's now coming out uh, November 4th, 2022. So The Flash is actually coming out before um, Shazam 2. And Shazam 2 will move to the fall. I think that's a great move for uh, Shazam. I think it, it is a better fit for the fall. Um, and, you know, it, the first movie did pretty well, so I, it already has a built-in fan base. I think, um, it's, it's a better move to put that movie there in the fall, um, and have The Flash move up earlier. Rounding out the whole, uh, DC film slate is Aquaman 2. It's still scheduled to come out, uh, December 2022, and, um, yeah. And also, kind of, kind of, in the same vein as uh, uh, Ezra Miller, um, there have been calls for Amber Heard to be fired uh, or removed from Aquaman two uh, because of her whole uh, the, the whole situation with her and Johnny Depp. And uh, again, nothing official has been said or, or no announcement has been made regarding that. Um, we're still a ways away from that movie, so who knows? They they probably might not even say anything until um, closer uh, to when uh, that movie starts to come together. Film sets and things like that are shut down because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, so a lot of things that were in production, the production has halted. So a lot of decisions on, on casting and things like that might not be announced or made, um, at least publicly, until things start to, to, to reopen and, and get back um, uh, to normal, like internally within the company, they could be have made a bunch of dis different decisions about various things. But to the general public, we probably won't know uh, a lot of that stuff. Anyway, I'm excited uh, about the film slate. Uh, you know, I I like Marvel movies, but I also like DC movies, and I love DC characters. So I, I'm ready for more DC movies. Um, I'm really excited about the Batman, and I'm really looking forward to Wonder Woman 1984. Um, so hopefully, it gets to keep its uh, release date and. Um, you know, not have to move it again and then possibly shift all these other movies around too. So anyway, so that's pretty much uh, the the DC film slate as it is right now, um, including the, the new date. So let me know what you think about uh, Warner Brothers uh, shifting those dates and, and the decisions it made there. Um, share your thoughts in the comment section below. While you're here, like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.